Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do like a makeup tips, like my makeup top tips for the makeup look that I love to do like literally every time I do a makeup. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So the first step of my makeup routine is my skin prep. And I've been using all Glow Recipe products at the minute and I love it. This is not sponsored, wish it was, but it's not. So first actually I go in with the toner. I just did this off camera, but I just do toner my face. I don't really know what it does, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But I've seen those people using it, so I started using it and I like it. It makes my skin feel quite nice, so. Then I go in with the Dew Drops. These are all like the watermelon flavour scent. Then I go in with the moisturiser and then I use the Ultra Fine Mist, which I love. So yeah, I just kind of do like one pump on each cheek and then like a little one on my forehead for all of these products. So for my Dew Drops, I'm actually running quite low. Is this even gonna come out? Okay, well I need a new one of these because I'm pretty sure that is completely finished. But I just do, yeah, like one pump on each cheek and then a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. And I just rub that in, like you don't have to be gentle with it, but I make sure that I get a lot of moisture around my under eyes because I do set them uh, with powder, unlike the rest of my face, but I like to make sure that they're really moisturized so it's like flawless. To me that like makes a difference. I'm then gonna use the moisturizer and I again do like one pump on each cheek and then a little bit on my forehead. Can you see how glowy my skin is? It's like literally feels wet and for me that is perfect. I want my skin to feel wet before I put my foundation on. So for foundation, I use the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation, I think, in shade Golden Beige. I promise you, this is the best foundation out there. It's seven pounds-ish. Like it's so cheap and it's incredible. I've had so many people recently message me being like, thank you so much for telling me about the Wet n Wild foundation. It is unbelievable. I promise you, get it, you will not be disappointed. So I put about, like, I don't know how to explain it because it's on this, it's not like a pump, but about that on each cheek and then just a bit on my forehead about that much it's a very buildable foundation but it's also if you put too much on it it doesn't look cakey so it doesn't really matter how much you put on to be completely honest and then i'm just going to blend that out with a brush i think that using a brush is the best way to blend out foundation i used to be a beauty blender girl but for foundation i think it just melts it into your face and it doesn't soak up all the product so you actually get the full amount of like coverage and product that you put on your face when blending out your foundation with a brush, make sure you do like small downward motion because with your hairs on your face, they go downwards. So you want to make sure you're not like disturbing that. That's why I saw on TikTok and I do it and I think it really works, but it's literally just melted completely into my face. I just love this foundation so much. I also make sure to avoid like the very middle bit of my under eyes, just because I am gonna put concealer there. And I don't want it to be cakey, so I avoid them basically completely with my brush. I, I do go over like this, and it's fine if you do get it on, but I don't like put foundation under that, if that makes sense. Next up is concealer, and I love Revolution for their concealers. I think they melt really nicely into your skin, which is exactly as what I want. I think we've gathered. I want like skin-looking makeup, but I always use the Conceal and Hydrate, but... I've run out and I can't find it. So I'm using the Conceal and Define. And now that I've been using my Glow Recipe products, this is working the same basically as my Conceal and Hydrate. So this is a good alternative if you can't get your hands on the other one. But I use shades C6.5 and C5.7. So I'm gonna put this under my eyes, like here, and then on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. I'm then just going to do a tiny dot of the C6.5 because it is slightly lighter as well, which in my head doesn't make sense. Surely the lower number should be lighter, but I will. And then I just put this in the centre of the concealer under my eyes. I'm then going to use a beauty blender to blend this out. I just think that's the best way to do it. When blending out your concealer, you want to be quite gentle because you don't want to disturb the product underneath if when you're going over the bits that have foundation, you don't want to like pick up the foundation or anything. So be quite gentle. 
My next step is cream bronzer and I use the Cronzer from Be Perfect in shade Pecan and I'm going to take it on quite a big fluffy kind of brush. This is from Sigma, it's their contour and blush brush. Is that it? Yeah. So I'm going to take like a couple, a few swipes of this and then focus it on my cheek. Make sure that you do it on the like upper bit of your cheek rather than lower because that will just like bring your face down. I want to bring my face up. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I do this very, very gently because, again, I don't want to disturb the foundation. It's underneath making it look patchy or anything. So I do it very lightly in just very fine, like, strokes. And I'm going to do this on both my cheeks, my forehead, a little bit around my chin area, and then down my nose. With contour and, like, bronzer especially, remember that you can always add but you can't always take away. Like if you put too much bronzer on, it's gonna be difficult to make it look good. But if you put too little on, you can always add more. So I think that's something to remember when doing it. For cream blush, I actually have a new blush that I've been loving. It is the Rimmel Kind and Free Tinted Multi Stick in shade Pink Heat. And I love this so much. I don't put this directly onto my face because it is a stick. I like to just like put it on my hand then use my brush to get it off my hand just because this warms up the product and makes it easier to work with, I think. So with it on my hand, I'm just literally going to take like a few swipes, so it's definitely on my brush, and then just focus it on like the top bits of my cheek. For me, my blush placement that I like is like up here, and I don't bring it too close to my eyes because I feel like that makes your face look rounder, and I want it to be more like... Yeah. I'm very, very gentle when doing my blush because I don't want to disturb the contour or the concealer, so just really lightly tap, literally just like this, if you can see how lightly I'm doing that. That's literally how lightly you want to blend out your blush with. That is all my cream products. I hope you can see how these are kind of sitting on the skin. It's very natural looking, in my opinion, it's very natural looking, and just like, my skin but better is exactly like the vibe that I want for my makeup. To set my under eyes, I use the Huda Beauty cupcake loose baking and setting powder this for me is the best it's quite expensive but it works so well i've got a very strict routine for my under eye like setting because i hate when it looks crusty and cakey and just like dry so go in again and blend out your concealer so that it's all completely blended because it probably has creased a bit because you've done other things after applying it so go in and blend it out and then get a powder puff beauty blender whatever i like to use a dry beauty blender and go into your powder literally just like that much get your palm of your hand and cup it and press your powder into your hand like this so that it's all like in the in the beauty blender and then very lightly like very lightly i feel like there's like stuff flying everywhere very lightly press this under your under eyes. And that is what I did to set my under eye. Can you see that it's like matte and like looks flawless compared to this side, which is like a bit shinier. I think because I leave the rest of my face quite shiny, I like to have my under eyes being slightly matte. So this is a new step for me, but I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in transparent, I think it is, yeah, transparent. And I'm going to set the middle of my forehead, like my chin, above my lip, and I'm, I'm going to go over my under eyes with this as well because I think it builds the coverage. So I'm just going to take some on my Beauty Blender, on the same one that I did for the other one, it's fine, and just kind of press it, again, very lightly where you want to set and that is all the setting that I do I leave the outsides of my face not set I just prefer it. I think it looks more skin like so for powder bronzer I'm going to use the Sigma matte bronzer in shade light I really love this it's kind of like a mix between contour and bronzer in my opinion it's like that kind of shade which I love and I'm going to take that on the same brush that I did my powder, my cream bronzer with and literally just like tap it very lightly like twice I sometimes like and then I'm just going to do in circular motions literally where I did the cream bron the cream bronzer but just with powder I 
And then again, just gonna take this down my nose, down the sides, like the, like this, and then like that. Then for blush, I'm gonna use the Sigma Blush in Sunset Kiss. This is so nice, this is so pigmented as well, you barely need any. But I'm just gonna focus that in the exact same place that I did my cream blush. Just keeping it to the very top of my cheekbone. And last but not least for my powder products is my highlighter and I'm being very gentle with this because the packaging has actually started to like deteriorate. This is how long I've had it for and it kind of goes all over my fingers. So if anyone has a replacement blush, uh, blush, highlight for this, please let me know because I really need it. I'm just going to take this on a very fluffy brush and just focus it on this like, I don't know what it's called, like, the very high point of my cheekbone. Like you can see where it catches the light anyway. You just want to like accentuate that I also do this very lightly because I don't want to press too hard and like stripe it like along my cheek I'm then going to go in with like a very dense small brush and do it on the tip of my nose and then down the center I mean it's so nice Okay, so that is my base products done. So moving on to eyebrows, I'm now using the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I did used to use soap and to be honest, they do kind of do the same thing. This is just like a bit easier to use because I don't have to like scrub a soap bath every time I do my eyebrows. So I just go in and kind of flick them up and kind of just in a diagonal rather than straight up, I do it in a diagonal so they don't look crazy on me. With my eyebrows, I like to be as precise as possible. So I'm gonna use a very, very thin brush. I don't even know if this is a, it's a winged eyeliner brush, but I use it for my eyebrows. And I'm gonna use the Revolution. I think it's called the Duo Brow Pencil in dark brown. I love this, it's so cheap and it does such a good job. So I'm just gonna like swipe over my brush quite a few times. And then it's just more precise, I think, when you're doing it. I like to, I'm gonna zoom in for this. But I like to go over the front brow hairs very lightly. I do like a straight line basically. And then I diffuse it out. So it's literally like a straight line. And then just to get a bit of the excess product off my brush, I'll like just really finely take it through the middle section of my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to diffuse the front line. Then I'm just going to get a bit more product on my brush and then do the end section of my eyebrow. So for the end, I pretty much stick to the natural shape of my eyebrow. I just darken it up a bit and then make it slightly straighter at the end. This is what my eyebrows look like when they're completely done. I just think they don't need to be perfect. They're literally eyebrows, they're not meant to be perfect. So for winged liner, I'm gonna use the Collection Fast Stroke Longwear Liner in shade brown. And it's pretty much black. It's like very dark brown, but I think it's just really nice and pigmented. I love this. And I'm gonna take it on this eyebrow brush, I think it is. So for the initial kind of like wing I use the brush and then I go in with the actual like applicator and just darken up the bit closest to the lashes and then sometimes if I'm feeling brave I'll use this to do like the flick bit at the very end because it's very this is a very fine brush so that is my first wing I'm just gonna do the same on the other side and then come back so both wings are done and then it's time to do the inner corner this I think is so important it just makes your eyes even more like sculpted I think. So I'm just gonna take the actual brush like applicator thing and brush off quite a lot of the like excess product because you don't want it to be too too dark. And that is like all you do for that. I hope that you could see what I was doing there. With doing the inner corner it's very important to do very slow gentle strokes rather than just like a quick fast because it, you have more control when you do it slower, I think. And then finally for lips, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lip Liner in shade 630. 
it's a really nice shade it's like a pinky nude just like the perfect color and then i'm going to use the luster lipstick from primark i love this color so much it's like such a nice pale pinky nude i like to overline my lips a little bit but not too too much i mean i've got quite small lips naturally but i don't really care but i just like to make the shape a bit nicer in my opinion so i make sure i go over this top bit here and then also i bring it down to like meet my bottom lip at the like end because my top lip goes like in before my bottom lip and I just prefer when it's like the same. Then for lipstick, I don't ever drag my lipstick. I like to do like dots of it, dots, don't really know if that's the right word, like stamp it basically onto my lips. So I kind of do it like this. I then like to go in with a powder over my lip liner kind of area just so if you're like drinking, eating, doing anything it pretty much stays put. So to set my lipstick I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel powder again and just like a fluffy brush and just get a bit on my brush and then just very lightly tap over the outside of my lip. Setting my lipstick also means that when you're wearing your hair down it doesn't get stuck to your lips. Which for me that is like such a pet peeve. I do sometimes then go over with the lip liner again because using a powder can like dim down the colour a bit. My last step is setting spray and in my opinion this is literally one of the most important steps. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. This is the best one you will ever find. It's quite pricey but in my opinion it's definitely worth it. So I'm just going to spray my face with this and then just like fan it. I use a lot of this when doing my makeup and I think it's because the like the wetter I think my face feels once I've done it the better my makeup lasts. I think it also makes it just like sink into your, like sink into your skin. It's the best. And this is the final makeup look. This is actually my everyday makeup. I do it no matter where I'm going, what I'm doing. This is the only makeup pretty much that I do. This is kind of what it looks close up. Just very, I think it's quite natural. You might think it's not natural at all, but just, yeah, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed. Actually, I'm gonna take these out. These have probably made a crease in my hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I gave some like useful tips or you got anything like, from this video but yeah thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if you enjoyed and hope to see my next video love you